Hey everybody and welcome to day 5 of 21 Days Fasting and Praying. My name is Vanessa Johnson, the founder of One Time Ministry. So today we're going to get into devotion. Alright, washing and anointing. Read Matthew chapter 16 verse 17 18. And we actually read Matthew chapter 16 verse 17 18 last night on Instagram Live on One Time Ministries platform. So this is like a recap of what we talked about last night, everybody. Jesus naturally expects that his disciples would fast, and he talks about how they could do it in the right way. In Jesus' time, divine Jews fast one day a week, pharaohs even two days. In doing so, they position themselves in places where they would be seen by everyone and visually in Emphasize their fast by smearing paint on their face. Jesus was not concerned with the outward observance of religion forms. He was also always concerned with the heart. When he said to wash your face and anoint your head, vanity differently in, dim in dimension, the, the, the dimensions are involved. In the book of Ruth, chapter 3, verse 3, Naomi advised her daughter-in-law before she met her future bridegroom. Wash, put on perfume, get dressed in your best clothes, then go down to the thread floor. When you fast, prepare yourself for encounters with God, the Father of Jesus. Okay, sorry about that. With God, the Father, with Jesus, the bridegroom, and with the Holy Spirit. You can wash and anoint yourself outwardly, but you can also do it spiritually. Cleanse yourself by asking Jesus to examine your heart and show you the areas that interfere with your relationship. Confess to him where he has, where you have drifted away in your heart. You can um, exchange all that is negative from the renewal and restore that Jesus purchased for you on the cross. Many people report that in time of fasting, they are much more sensitive to the speaking of the Holy Spirit. And he has shown them where things have crept into their lives that hinder their relationship with God themselves or others. Throughout the Bible, fasting always has an aspect of rep uh, repentance, asking for forgiveness, and realigning ourselves, anointing yourself. When the Bible speaks of anointing oil, it's all referred to the Holy Spirit. Anointing yourself by asking the Holy Spirit to fill you renewed. Fill you and renewed. Father in heaven, thank you for your promise that you will renew my fasting. I'm a full exception for time of calendar when you and I want to cons constantly make time for you in your presence. This day and in this day to come, Jesus, I ask that you cleanse me completely by your blood all things that displease you. <sighs> if you can think of specific things here, pronunciate them and exchange them at the cross. Holy Spirit, please fill me anew and anoint me. Amen. When you get yourself ready in the bathroom today and in the next few days, do it deliberately. When you shower or take a bath, you use this as an outer sign of an inner process of purifying during this fast. If you use cream, uh, ointment, perfume, or aftershave that feels ready to fill and equip you and make you a pleasing aroma before God and man. Prepare yourself in the word and out of word for encounters with God during this fasting period. <clears throat> Matthew chapter 6 verse 17 says, But you, when you fast, anoint your head with oil. And wash your face so that you do not appear to man to be fasting, but to your father who is in a secret place. And your father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Let's pray, everybody. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the opportunity and the ability to continue to go forward in you, God. As we all go through our separate ways, God, I ask that you touch the lives of so many individuals today, their hearts, minds, bodies, and souls, oh God. Lord, I just thank you for this opportunity of being a part of this movement, God. As I close, God, I just ask that you 
watch over us, protect us, and lead us, and guide us, and show us the way during this 21-day fasting and prayer, Father God. Lord, I just give you praise, God. Give you honor. Give us strength when we're weak. Give us hope when we're dreary. Father, I just honor you and praise you and glorify you. <clears throat> and just say thank you.